JCPS students head back to class in less than two weeks, and the district hopes to avoid another busing meltdown. WDRB's Raina Katko reveals the changes made to get kids home on time. Students will soon fill the seats of this bus, and drivers are practicing their routes in hopes of avoiding another transportation disaster. First thought of the day is can I make it through <laughs> and not have any issues? <laughs> and then the second thought is, of course, of course we got this. Austin Anderson loves being a JCPS bus driver. He's rolled with the punches for the past three years. I kind of wish I became a bus driver sooner than I did. But last year was a doozy for drivers like Anderson. Long routes all across Jefferson County meant students were getting picked up and dropped off far later than expected. <laughs> it was just definitely hard on the kids. This year, JCPS isn't using outside routing company Alpha Route. The change allows drivers to get their routes sooner. Now they get to practice and offer feedback 10 days before school starts. The drivers will be running the routes true to time. So if the stop is supposed to be made at 619, the driver will be out making the stop at 619, deploying the stop on. Because the district cut busing for magnet schools, routes will be shorter and more direct. 65% of students will have the same driver and route before and after school. Relieved <laughs> that I'm not going to be all over the city and it's going to be one stop or you know one school I get to get familiar with the kids on both sides both in the morning and the afternoon. It allows us the opportunity to provide structure. JCPS will also have TARC drivers helping with some routes though it's not yet clear how those drivers will be included. The district hopes all of these changes will ensure a smooth ride for the first day of school. I think the parents are going to be more satisfied than they've ever been. And I think us as drivers will be more satisfied. We just all need to have a little bit of patience that first week and we're going to get the job done. JCPS goes back to school on August 8th. Reporting with photojournalist Ian Cunningham, Raina Katko, WDRB News.